Hey folks, so if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I've been recently using these Power Queen um, batteries. They seem to be pretty popular amongst people, amongst the YouTube crowd. Um, probably it's the the price to quality ratio, but they um, so far they've been doing the job for me. Um, I recently got the official Power Queen charger for these batteries. This is the 20 amp 14.6 volt lithium iron phosphate battery charger. Um, that's specifically for these kind of batteries. It's not one of these, you know, chargers that's made to charge multiple lead acid gel batteries and everything else. This is strictly for lithium iron phosphate. Um, when I got this, I was kind of surprised that the packaging was so nice. Usually when you get something like this from like Amazon or something, it's just like usually just a generic white box. But this is, this is surprisingly, surprisingly nice packaging for a charger, you know, <laughs> um, it got like this little, you know, thing with their website on it. Um, comes with the manual. I haven't gone through it yet, but it's, I mean, it's a leaflet, basically. <laughs> um, and then inside, yeah, I mean, it feels like it's just a couple pages. But on the inside, you have the charger itself, which I'll give you the measurements of it in a minute, but this thing, it's a, it's a beast. It feels, it's quite solid. Um, compared to some of these other cheaper chargers that you get. Okay, so here it is out of the box and what it looks like next to 100 amp hour 12 volt uh, Power Queen battery. Um, for the van life people, the dimensions of this thing are eight inches by three inches by two inches wide. And I don't know, maybe it's not too heavy maybe a pound or so um, and it's made out of it's made out of aluminum alloy so it's got good heat dissipation and it most likely won't rust so it's a it's a 20 amp charger so a battery of this capacity um, it'll take roughly five hours to charge this battery from um, you know from bottom to top and it's got uh, <clears throat> reverse polarity protection, so if you plug the charger in backwards, you know, you plug the positive to the posit negative and the negative to the positive, it'll cut off automatically. And it's got overheat protection, so those are two handy things to have. So since this, um, this charger was made especially for lithium iron phosphate batteries, it actually has, <clears throat> it actually has a microcontroller in it that works with the BMS and the battery. So, um, so if you have a battery that's, you know, to the point of dead where it won't charge anymore, this has a repair function built in into the microcontroller. So it can bring one of these batteries back to life, which, uh, can come in handy. So overall the over, um, the ruggedness of this unit is, I mean, pretty decent. It feels pretty solid. It's got, um, it's got some pretty nice uh, alligator clips on it. And the one thing I really like about this unit is the simplicity. It's got, I mean, it's basically got two lights on it. You got a, <clears throat> you got a red light for when it's charging and a green light for when it is fully charged. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up now and show you that. Okay, so now I've got it plugged up and it's charging up. You can see it's got the, uh, red light here on the bottom that indicates that it's charging um, and it does have a fan in the unit you could hear it's it's really blowing so I'm gonna let this charge for a while I'll let you know if the fan ever turns off or if it's just something that stays on the whole time uh, we'll see when the battery's charged I'll uh, pick this right back up Okay, so it's finished charging and the green light has come on and the fan has turned off. So the fan did stay on the whole time. So if this 
you're going to be using this in a van, keep that in mind for charging when you're maybe sleeping. So in conclusion, um, if you're looking for, you know, a heavy duty steady charger that was built specifically for lithium iron phosphate batteries and <clears throat> is BMS friendly with these, um, you know, with these Power Queen batteries and they've been specific, this has been specifically tested for the Power Queen batteries and this would be the way to go if you want to <clears throat> guarantee that you're going to get the longest life out of um, these kind of batteries and this is probably what you would want to get over, you know, a generic, <clears throat> you know, power adapter that was maybe one of the ones that's designed for multiple batteries. But I found this to be pretty solid, so um, thanks for watching.